Martin Shkreli, Is He Really That Evil? by Peter Slaughter. Shkreli was born in 1983 in Brooklyn, New York. He was buying shares of Amazon by age 15, dropped out of high school by age 16, accused by the SEC of foul play in the year 2000, and then got his college degree in 2004. Shkreli started out by shorting stocks. Shkreli learned how to short stocks from an old man he used to play chess with in the park. Shkreli was known in the industry for shorting biotech stocks at the beginning of his career. Here is an example of how Shkreli would short a stock. Shkreli would go to the market and borrow 10,000 shares of a stock at $100. He would sell off those shares and the price would drop down to $80. He would then buy back those same shares at $80 a piece and return the 10,000 shares he originally borrowed. This would be leaving Shkreli with a $200,000 profit in his pocket. Shkreli continued to make plays like this in the stock market until he climbed to the top of Wall Street. When he was here, he realized he wanted to try new things. This is when Turing Pharmaceuticals was founded. Shkreli's first move at Turing Pharmaceuticals was that he bought the rights to the drug Daraprim from Impax Pharmaceuticals, which saves the lives of people suffering with HIV and the parasite infection Toxoplasmosis. This drug can save lives. His move with this drug was raising the price from $1,750 to $750, a 5,000% increase. Impex Pharmaceuticals did not like this and claimed that Turing breached their sales contract by failing to reimburse $20 million in Medicaid rebates and provide pricing data for the drug, which is called Daraprim. They are concerned because they are still liable for certain aspects of the drug. This led to a legal battle between Impex Pharmaceuticals and Turing Pharmaceuticals. This battle eventually led them to court. In court, Shkreli was not charged with many major repercussions, but he did find himself in jail for unrelated charges. This is when people started to really dislike Martin Shkreli. As a result of all this intention and trials, Shkreli was known as the most hated man in America. As a culmination of all these events, a congressional hearing was in place. This is when we saw Shkreli's famous smirk, as he seemed to not really care about the trial at all. In the congressional hearing, Shkreli continued to plead the fifth no matter what the judge would ask him. The judge stated how he could be the poster boy for good pharmaceuticals and change the system that would allow people like him to increase the price of a drug so much. Shkreli continued to plead the fifth and have his little smirk. As a result, Turing lowered the prices and made them more accessible to patients and hospitals and those in need. No real repercussions were put in place. What it did do is it exposed as much of a problem with the FDD, FDA as with Shkreli himself. Why would Shkreli raise the price of the drug this far if he knew it wasn't going to increase his profit? It's because he exposed this problem. He showed that there's not a much difference between this his place in the stock market, and this, this increase on the pill. And he showed how we need a change in this industry. We owe a thank you to the most hated man in America for exposing this huge problem and leading to regulation with the FDA. Thank you, Martin Shkreli.